up guys i hope you guys are doing well today today is a brand new video um i'm not sure if i'm going to release this exactly on or today um which is sunday because i've got some things to do and i do want to make this video a bit edited so i don't want to have it raw footage because i have the capability of doing it now i also if you guys can probably tell i've finally received my uh, my mic setup uh my uh, my new headphones so my audio should be um, better. One thing I did not or was not able to figure out just yet is how to reduce the background noise on the mic. I can do it with all other programs, but with uh, Shadow Play, I still need to figure something out and maybe download a program to reduce the mic, uh, the uh, sort of, for example, key keyboard sounds in the background as well as my my chair, as you can probably hear in the background. Also, little subtle things such as my breathing sometimes. I mean, I c that can also affect the audio. I'm still trying to figure that out. However, I wanted to get this video started. Today, we are actually flying an X plane. And uh, what, why am I doing X planes? Because since I've tested X plane with all this new stuff and with the new PC, um, I saw how beautiful X plane can be again. I mean, I knew how beautiful it was, but I'm just so in love with it again, and I might fly more often with the X-Plane now. Who knows? Um, it's hard because X-Plane doesn't have the things that Prepared has, and Prepared does not have the things X-Plane has. So, it's always a back and forth, but for now, I'm just making a video for X-Plane, and we are starting with the Flight Factor 757 Extended here. Um, uh, we're also running X-Enviro. And um, you can go ahead and check the settings now. These are my settings, and now you're probably wondering why they're so, in quotes, low. They're not very low, but um, but if you consider all the uh, add-ons that I've installed, all the airports, all the uh, visual effects, all of so such as X and Viro, and all of the all the extras, um, this performance, th these FPS, even if I go below 30 sometimes, right, like right here. Is still worth it to me and it looks absolutely stunning so let's go ahead and get started here and um, we're gonna start with the battery so let's go and turn that on I have nothing to say, sir. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of that bus ties are in the auto position and extra power can now come on IRS is set to nav five here we go FFC where the 757 300 are Air rack should be up to date, which it is. Position in it. it go Delta Delta Foxtrot. And our IRS position. Go ahead and just enter in here. Our route. Company route. Enter that ourselves. No big deal. Runway. Today is 25 center. Our flight number is Condor 2034. Departure 25 Center with the neck top 9 Foxtrot. Departure route Yankee 163. Yankee 164. Uniform November 869. Check our old bin. Uniform November 852. Click spots are a little bit small, but that's okay. Uniform Lima 129er. And Lunik is our final waypoint. Go to arrival. And we'll enter ILS two for right. ILS two for right. Yankee Looney to Papa via Charlie Delta Papa. Go ahead and activate and execute the changes. We'll root copy that. We'll go to legs, next page. Alright, and that is good to go. Our 
route is entered in for now. So now we'll check our overhead. Make sure everything is set as required. Fueling is complete. Our landing altitude at Mayaka is 27 feet, so we'll use 30. Do a light test. Increase the brightness here. Everything is checked. Overhead scan is complete. Our initial heading is expected to be 248. And our initial climb, this is where I have to check our charts. Sid. I'm over their departure again. It was the Aneki 9 Fox Strat. Here we are. Our initial altitude is 5,000. That is checked. So now Okay, I don't have a co pilot's view, so I'm gonna go ahead and head over there and we'll do the checks on his side. So oxygen there it is. It's checked. Clock is reset. Everything here is fine. Everything here is checked. Everything is good. Okay. Gears down. Takeoff. We are doing takeoff one. So select one. Everything here is checked. All looks good. And Peter selector is on the auto position. We'll go to legs on this side for data and traffic we'll select 20 then his radio panel set so 2001 all right now the captain's side Set his clock. Auto brake RTO. Cancel any messages. And we can now check the flight plan. Do down with this scan. This is checked. Alright, IRS are aligned. And everything is checked here as well. Oxygen tested. Pressurization mode selectors auto. Flight instruments are checked. And everything is good to go. Checklist complete. Alright, so we are ready for pushback. So that means we're going to do a couple of things here. I'm also apologizing. I'm getting sick a little bit, so... Uh, yeah. 
So the EPU, go and start the EPU. Conditioning unit. And voila. So our APU is now started. It's now providing us with air. We can now enter our performance. So go to init ref. Zero fuel weight is entered. Reserves today are 7.6. Cruise altitude 360. The cost index of 30. Takeoff flaps 5. CG 22. Takeoff degrees 48. Assume temperature. Next page, acceleration height 3000, we're good there, reference speeds, I want some much higher speeds, I'm taking 151, 153, and 136. Our progress and it's good to go. All right, MCDU 153 set. We'll go ahead and arm LNAV for lateral navigation. Initial heading, altitude, and V2 is all set. So we are ready for pushback. Uh, I keep forgetting to install better pushback. Uh, that's the one thing I keep forgetting to install. So we're going to use the uh, flight factor pushback system. Which means we c just cannot start engines. Um, lock our door. So we just cannot start engines while we're pushback. We're pushing back. Alright, so hydraulics. Right system first. Center. Left. Fuel pumps coming on, all that are required, red beacon light coming on, and our gates are being we're going away, so we're going to close our doors, ground, remove our chocks, go and call the recall, do recall. Let us check. We'll cancel. We'll actually keep it up. And we need to set our trim, our takeoff trim of 4.6 units, which I need to verify here. Right about there. And the forcer checklist. Fuel is checked. Passenger sign set, windows are locked, MCP is set, thrust is checked, takeoff speeds are checked, and everything else is done. So before start checklist is completed, engine display coming on, and we are ready for pushback. So packs coming off, recall will be cancelled actually, and let's go ahead and call pushback. So ground push back and our truck is coming
Alright, release the parking brake and increasing thrust. that sucker away. Parking brake is set and we can start engines. Starting engine number two. Starting engine one. The APU can come off. Engine anti-ice go ahead and turn on. Packs. to auto flaps set to 5 flight control check checklist anti-ice is required isolation valve recall checked auto brake RTO ground equipment clear and lights are set. FO will start his clock and we can start taxiing. Here we are at the runway. It's a weather radar coming on. Plus four degrees. I feel like f they've integrated the X Enviro, uh, uh, X Enviro very well on this plane. I'm not sure about the A320 or so, but here it seems to be working now, which is nice. 
So let's go ahead and start right here. Parking brake is set. Weather radar is set on this side. We're going to keep it off on this side. We're not going to mess with uh, the cat, the co-pilot side. Engine display is blank. Flaps are set to five and indication is agreed. Four takeoff checklist. Takeoff briefing review. Packs are auto. Flaps five set. Stabilizer trim set. Flight controls are checked. Cabin is secured. Runway turn off lights come back off. Four takeoff checklist completed. We're ready to go, so let's go ahead and release the parking brake and taxi out to the runway. Approaching two five center. All right, strobe light coming on, auto throttle coming on. Transponder T A R A. And let's get going here. We're clear for takeoff, landing lights coming on. And the captain will start his clock. On runway two, five, center. And Toga. Eighty knots. Low acceleration, but that's completely normal for a 757. V1, hands off the throttles, and rotate. Positive rate, gear coming up. And the runway is a bit off here. That's interesting.
thousand feet. Any lights coming off? Checking our progress page. It's good to go. Fuel flow. That's okay. See what signs to auto. Pressurization is also looking okay. All right. Wow! Look at wow. <laughs> that's truly all the weather in the area. That's that's insane. All right, guys. Well, that is it uh, for the departure. We'll see you when we are ready to land or ready for the approach. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, we are now, as you can see, at 12,000 feet. About to reach 10,000 and that's when we do our next procedures. Um, yeah. You can see the clouds are a bit, uh, a bit funny information here. But I totally trust X Enviro. Not completely, but I do trust X Enviro to, com to do a good job of depicting weather in the area. And let's say there's some more rain if this is correct. Let's say there's some more rain in the area. Go and decrease the range. And at ten thousand feet. We already turned on seatbelt sign. So, any lights coming on? Go ahead and set landing system, and we're going to tune our ILS 109 decimal 9 at a course of 238. That has entered. at an altitude of 3,000. Flaps 5.
down to 170. Gear down. Arm these spoilers. How's your light coming on? Go and set flaps 15. Reref is 140 plus 5, 145. And flaps thirty. Landing checklist. Landing checklist complete. is in sight. We're now landing in this landing in X plane has been a while, so let's see how well I do. Especially now with turbulence. Sun being in the eyes is not helping either. Minimums. Landing.
Alright, welcome to Mayaka. Set thrust servers idle. First officer will stop his clock. And we'll shut down checklist. Drag panel set, fuel pumps off, and all that is checked. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Back in X plane. And I uh, hope you guys uh, let me know what you guys think about this video. What you guys think about X plane. X and viral, whatever the topic may be. Uh, if you want to see more explain content, what do you guys think about the mic setup um, and all that good jazz? If there's anything I can do to improve the videos, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next weekend probably. Maybe explain again. Who knows? Till then, adios.